All right, so we're back with another Rogue Community uh, uh, review, and we're here to talk about the Seed Studio Electronic Brick Starter Kit. Now, we've already gone ahead and we've opened up the, the, the box itself to kind of take a look at what it has. And we asked as you look at the review, we took some pictures of all the things that are you know, individually packed inside of this. Now, some of the things we plan to do is a series of experiments. Now, just to start off, um, I already have some things assembled here because we were tinkering around with it just to see what we're getting into. But basically, um, <clears throat> what you're going to have inside the kit is what you see here. So you're going to have a series of cables. These cables are going to be used to connect all the different sensors that come with the kit. You're also going to have an, L an, LE, uh, an LCD screen like this one here and with a cable that comes with it which is easily mountable to whatever you need. It has mounting holes here, 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 and here. So you can do a number of experiments with this. This is going to be a shield that will be used with one of the uh, Seed Studio uh, Arduino compatible uh, microcontrollers. Uh, in this case we're using this one here which has been mounted onto an additional plate which does not come with the Seed Studio electronic brick uh, starter kit but we've mounted on here a Seed Studio uh, my controller with a 9 volt battery as you can see it's already positioned and ready to go with the power plug that just kind of plugs in there nice and easy as you can see the power I'm not sure if you can see the power come on there or not but you just plug it right in and the power comes on there's a little green light there you should see turn off it's a little hard to see in this lighting but anyways this is nicely mounted we suggest getting this kind of do your experiments in addition to the electronic uh, brick uh, starter kit now it did not come with batteries, that's something that we mounted on there. So we've talked about these two components. Now we have this shield, which will go mounted onto this board right here. What this shield is going to do, it's, it's, it's just basically nicely designed so that all these cables here plug in easily to each one of these components. And you don't really have to think much about it. Um, it also has three of these connectors, which you can use, for example, to control one of these. And that mounts just right on top of that board, like such. Now, in addition to that, you know, uh, the cabling and all the other stuff, we have a series of sensors. So I'm just going to quickly go through each one, even though they're all illustrated in the pictures in the actual review. So this is a push button. Here we have, uh, I believe this is an LED light. Okay. Here we have, I believe it's a uh, tilt switch. The way that usually works is that you have this little tube here with a little ball inside, and when it makes contact on either side, you know it's it's on this side or that side not sure if you can hear that shaking but it does rattle you have a pentometer which in this case they're calling just a rotation rotation type sensor which rotates here you have just a regular terminal here you have uh, I believe this is a light sensor so light sensor as you can see that little little uh, round or oval thing there is the actual light sensor and here we have the nice thing about these uh, this is a temperature sensor itself now the nice thing about Seed Studio is that they actually label each one of their sensors which is very nice it's, it makes it easy to determine what type what sensor is what and we have a buzzer so this originally came with a little piece of paper over it we just took that right off and here's another LED light so what we thought about doing is we're going to do a series of experiments and we're going to use all the things that you see here to do these experiments. So just to give you a highlight of what we plan on doing. So basically we're going to be mounting this like so onto this board. Okay. So that's mounted like such. And we're going to connect to it via USB, which is like a mini USB connector to our computer so we can download our, our sketches onto the board. And then we're going to use this particular shield to plug in all these devices. So like for example, this is going to plug in right, right there like so, and so on. I'm not sure if you can actually see that there, but these are, you can see they open up. and it makes it easy and it grips onto the cable so make sure it doesn't uh, come loose on you. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of experiments. So what kind of experiments can we do with all these sensors? Now they gave you these sensors so you can kind of tinker around with all these things and uh, you know get familiar with all the sensors and all the devices that they have that you can connect to the board. 
So uh, you can come up with your own type of projects and expand on this. Again, you know, this is just an introductory, so it's a starter kit, nothing more. Um, but you can do some pretty sophisticated um, experiments and things with it to get you going, and then later use this same platform to expand whatever uh, projects you might have. So let's start off with kind of looking at a few things here. So I'm going to kind of just move some things around. Okay. So <clears throat> one experiment that I plan on doing <clears throat> is that we're going to have basically we're going to connect these two sensors here. So these two sensors, you have an ambient light temperature, uh, sorry, an ambient light sensor and an LED. So what we're going to do, and then we're going to have this pentometer. So what we're going to do is, is actually use a pentometer to adjust the brightness, hopefully, of this LED. Let's see if we can do that and adjust that. If we can, that'd be great. If not, it'll just be like an on and off for us. And then we're going to have this ambient light sensor kind of sitting over it like so, just like this. So that way it's directly over the LED. Now what that's going to do is going to tell us basically it's a sensor reading from the ambient uh, light sensor. And then what we're going to do is we're going to output the results to the screen here. Okay, so that's one experiment we plan on doing. Another one that we plan on doing is taking the other LED and using the temperature sensor to determine if the temperature rises or lowers or whatever when we turn it on. And again, that'll be controlled by using <coughs> one of these using this pentometer or rotation sensor as they call it. And again the readouts from the temperature sensor will be shown here on this screen. Yet another one that we just plan on doing which is very basic just using the push button. Push button and the buzzer. Just showing an example of pushing the button and the buzzer going off. Pushing, buzzer off. And uh, other things we're just going to add is that we're going to take the tilt sensor we'll mount it onto the board here and that way when we do tilt it, we'll show a readout of that here. So this is going to serve as a, you know, it's going to show us many different things. So that's all we have in mind, and that's the overview of what we plan to do with the electronic uh, brick starter kit. Um, what we'll do is we'll do one video for each one of the experiments and hopefully post the code up for you so you can see what, how we did it. And again, remember, all these will connect easily with the cables that they've included, which are all of these here. So just as a sample, this is uh, <clears throat> kind of going outside the scope of this initial video, but these just plug in like so there. And then you just take one of these and you plug it in. And you're done. That's it. It's plugged in. All you have to do is make sure you know what port it's connected to. So when you start programming with it, you know that this is the rotation sensor and how to read it. Okay. We'll also show some readouts of this rotation sensor with each one of its experiments on here. So we know what it, in fact it is doing. That concludes this introduction to the electronic kit, uh, brick starter kit and uh, look forward to some of the other videos so we're going to show you actually us working with it. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.